Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Martin Cliff here. Welcome to another Martin's Concepts video. Uh, and I thought I would talk about something that um, has come up a couple of times when people have asked me questions about my rig, which is tuning. Uh, now, the previous weeks have all been illustrated using Mikey or Storm, which are tuned to standard. Um, and for that, I use a string gauge that is basically a nine and a half set, nine and a half to 44 set, but I replaced the low E string, the 44 with a 48, uh, just to give it a little bit more meat. Um, but my favorite tuning is D standard, where basically we drop the whole guitar down a tone. So D, G, C, F, a D. Um, and I like that because it makes it a little bit darker sounding. Uh, we used that tuning almost exclusively on the first Voyager Project album uh, 10 years ago now. Um, and as I say, it's, it makes it a little bit easier on the old voice, uh, particularly if you are a baritone like I am, not naturally a tenor. So, you know, not having to sing quite so high is, is good. Um, it, it also means that I can use slightly heavier strings. Uh, so this is essentially an 11 to 49 set, um, except that the top string, top E is a 10 and a half, um, and the low string is a 52. Now that may seem, well, why not use an 11 to 52 set and then just change the top string. Uh, and to be honest, I like the slightly think, slinkier feeling of the A string uh, in, in this set. Um, I find the A and the D a little bit tauter because they're typically a little bit heavier in an 11 to 52 set. So I found what works for me. Now the 49 I tend to stick on my on a Les Paul or something, so that's fine. Uh, I reuse that string. Um, in fact, I tend to use 10 to 52s on my Les Paul, but then swap the low E string across from the two guitars. So, and it just, again, with the, with the high action, the, the tension is, is not too great at this tuning. Um, so it enables me to bend, play vibrato, everything with control, which is, is kind of what it's all about for me. Um, I was watching a Mark Tremonti video the other day where he was talking about um, how he likes to just have guitars in weird tunings because it inspires him to play differently. Um, that's not me, if I'm honest. I, I very rarely experiment with alternate tunings uh, beyond like drop D or occasionally I'll stick an acoustic in, in Dadgad or something. Um, but I'm much more comfortable when the relationship between the strings is what I expect. Um, okay, maybe if I'm writing, want to write a very different riff, then I'll, I'll do that. But for me, you know, particularly with these guitars, um, which are all about comfort, and I'll talk about that next week. Um, you know, it's, it's just a case of finding what works for you. And for me, the slightly low tuning, it's not for heaviness. I don't really play much in the way of metal these days, um, but it's just something that I really like the tone of, particularly having that low D. Provides a warmth and a body that don't always get from standard tuning. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this interesting. Till next week. Take care.